I don't know about you, but I like to use Reminder app a lot and often make a list of things I need to do. But did you know you can actually create sublists by intending lines in the list? Let me show you how you can create such a complex list from the scratch. As you can see, I have many created lists here, like weekly to do, shopping list, planning a holiday and so on. But we can put all of these into one well-organized list. So let's start. Click on the plus button to add a new list. Just a simple to-do list. Now for example I can type shopping list or holiday plan as a separate reminder. But I will turn them into the heading in a moment because these items can have some subtasks. For example, what to actually buy. Or on the holiday plan, we can have buying tickets, packing or sorting some other things. Now it's a real mess with all the mixed reminders. Let's organize it and put these under the shopping. It's very easy, you just need to select it. So click on the first one and hold the shift key on your keyboard and now click the last one you want to include. You can also hold the command key and simply click one by one. Next and actually final step is to go to edit menu and select indent. Now this one is bold because it includes list of other subtasks. I can be ticking off one by one or just check the main item and it will select it all as completed, including all of the sub items as well. If you want to clean this list even further, go to view menu once more and select hide completed. Now all completed tasks will be hidden and do not distract you in the list. Let's practice one more. I can do the same here for the list and indent these tasks as well. But this time I can do it even faster. So quick selection by holding the shift key and I will not go to the edit menu. It's very old fashioned way. I will use the shortcut instead. In my case it's command plus right bracket. But it might be different in your language. Anyway, these shortcuts can be easily customized. I have another video about it if you need to change some shortcuts.